Who needs help? Well, what's, uh, what's your address, then? Huh? Well, what's your
transition from a stick insect. With eldritch bodies, fleshless legs, pinprick eyes protruding from their tiny heads. Skin like jet, eyes like blood, some the shades of dying wood, moss green, earth brown. Do they smile? Might they frown? Spindly legged, cryptid creatures, I find solace in their features. How they reach the tops of privet sprigs, how they resemble twigs. Lurking in their murky slumber, how I daydream, gently wonder. Is affection what they crave, beyond their pits of damp and shade? Mystical tree dwellers, guzzling leaves with glee together. Clever mutants, spawned or curled, useless, yet beautiful. They traipse the world, oblivious, accused as being hideous. But why would I neglect them when they're worthy of affection? Um, can they even care that I maintain their welfare, give them life, or steal privet from the neighbor's hedge, like Robin Hood, the stick insect? So can you get affection from a stick insect? I don't know, although I don't care. I stare at the vivarium, black and red, bead-like eyes perceive me as their universe, interpreting my silhouette. Their sentience irrelevant, affectionate or null. I love my stick insects because to me they're beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> um, Mick, you were a gentle stick, a gentleman in fact. Dignified and air refined, each prickle on your back accented such exquisite excellence. In death, you are no different, more stick-like, I suppose. Twisted legs like licorice, they tangled in a row, crimped, lifeless. Now I mourn the good times, your docile sway, gnawing bramble leaves all day, remaining yet a fine display. A man of few words, but loving nonetheless. Family was everything to make, well, and the Hawthorne Hedge. You've crossed the Rainbow Bridge, as so they say for pets. Mick, you were a gentle stick, a stick we won't forget. <laughs> I yearn to sleep for more than days in a two year long developmental stage, like Hercules beetle larvae. Ripe, glowing, yellowish grubs, dieting on dying wood, Sunken beds of dewy soil, coiled up with spangled flesh, glassy, wet, enmeshed in rot, such bestial bliss, misted by the forest falls, free to wriggle, writhe, or crawl towards a transformation. Patient, keen to spread its wings, pursuing countless beetle things. What's not to envy? Reasons plenty flood my mind to love the law of beetle kind, burrowing before they shift into their beetle adulthoods. <laughs> But beetles don't compare to grubs, cylindrical bodied wrigglers worming through the black terrain, conveniently plain, especially the Hercules, in simple shameless form, dazzled with a sable horn to scoop up rivals testily. I yearn to sleep for years at least, enrobed in soil with rot to feast, roam the paths of beetle wisdom, senior to the human system. Thank you. Now I've just got um, one last poem, and it's sort of based on a true story. I read this to my mum, and she thought it was like about a serial killer. But take it at face value, it's not a metaphor. It's just a funny poem about an evil cat. <laughs> oh, a nice cat. Yes. <laughs> He's a good boy. <laughs> I found a cat called Carl. I say found, he appeared. He sneered at me, his ears tingling with forbidden knowledge. Was he the messiah? <laughs> Carl the cat, if you can say that, was no cat at all. He stopped me in my tracks, enticed me with his milky paws. He knew things I didn't. Each meow was a front for his dastardly plans. Each sigh he exhaled echoed that of a man. His face was a mask, don't ask why, I just knew. This cat was no cat. This cat was a skew. Menacingly mewing, he'd almost scream. Was Carl but a figment of a dream? Attempting to leave, my joints wouldn't move. What had Carl slipped into my food? <laughs> Suddenly he was six feet tall. He crawled beside me, purring slyly, whispered in my ear, No one will believe you. Then faded away in a nebulous haze. I soon awoke, yet sensed concern. The so-called cat made his return. He licked his paw and said, Meow. I asked him, Can I leave now? No response. The cat was a cat. Carl was fiction. So I laughed and laughed and laughed until he hissed. My name's not Carl, you stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>